Hey everyone, it's Linnea. I am so excited about today's project. I am part of a blog hop for Pear Blossom Press and her Power Pack kits. Um, the woman behind this company is my good friend, Amanda, and I was so excited when she sent me one of these kits and asked me to do a video for her debut. Of course, I said yes. So basically what this is, is a way to create a light up interactive element for your cards. And with this little kit, you don't need to make those paper switches anymore. It comes with a battery pack, which is so cool because I have shied away from making light up cards because I just, it was intimidating to me. But so this is my first one and I'm going to show you just how easy it is. So for my stamping today, I'm using the My Universe stamp set from Pink and Main. And I just love this little astronaut and the little planets as balloons. I am using the Galaxy Foil paper pad as some color inspiration. I have already gone ahead and die cut a stitched rectangle out of that, um, that pretty foil cardstock. And now I'm just going ahead and I'm doing some simple alcohol marker coloring. You, if you guys have watched my videos on my channels recently, you know that I love the Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers. Um, it comes with three colors in one marker, a dark, a medium, and a light. So it takes the guesswork out of your color combos, which is perfect for people like me who struggle with getting the correct amount of depth and the correct colors and everything. So I'm just adding some simple coloring to this little astronaut here. And I'm coloring him to look like my son. So I have fair skin and I'm kind of doing a dirty blonde uh, hair color for him. And then I'm just using some N Copic markers to create some simple white and gray colors on his little uniform there. For the, uh, the planet balloons, again, like I said, I'm using my color inspiration from that paper that I picked from the Galaxy Foil paper pack. So I'm going in with the green turquoise blend here, and you can see here I tried my best to match it. I didn't have a dark blue color, but I did have a purple and a light blue color. So I'm just going to finish up my coloring, and then I'll cut out these images. I wanted there to be a shimmery silver uh, outline to my pattern paper, so I took my Versamark ink pad and pressed it down on a piece of cardstock and added some Wow Midas Touch embossing powder. And then I ended up cutting out the middle of this so that I just have a frame to glue down onto my cardstock. I didn't want the embossing to interfere with my copper tape or my battery or anything that I'm going to be adding to this card. And I've never made a card, so I didn't know if it would interfere, but I figured just to be safe, I would cut out the middle and just go with a frame. So I have my images arranged how I'm going to put them onto my card. And I wanted to have some little circles to kind of create an opening where my light would shine through. So I die cut two circles using my die cut machine. And then I'm going to use a pencil and just mark where those circles are on my card base. I have glued that glitter frame onto my card base. And so when I peek through with the pencil there. I'm drawing right on my card base and that's where I'm going to be building my light. I want the button for my um, little light up element to be right where you push on the belt of that astronaut. So I've marked that as well. And now I'm going to open up for the first time the power pack from Pear Blossom Press and I'm just going to start by positioning the little button right over the dot so that I know that when I put on, push on the astronaut's belt, it's going to turn on the light. So there is a positive and a negative, and I have it set up so the positive is on the right and the negative is on the left. And I know that I want to place my little light bulb right in the middle of those two circles so that it kind of um, illuminates in the center of those balloons. So I'm taking my copper tape and I am just running it down along from where the positive of the battery, or the light rather, down to the positive of the battery pack. It's really simple. It's hard for me to explain, but it's very simple. Basically positive on the light bulb to the positive on the battery, negative on the light bulb to the negative on the battery. 
So now I have added some strong adhesive to the back of the battery pack. And you wanna make sure to just add your adhesive where the label is, not where those um, the metal tabs on the side are. So now I'm going to press this down so that the copper tape has a connection with both the positive and the negative on your battery pack. Um, this copper tape has the adhesive in the copper itself as well as in the adhesive. So you saw me tear it to create like this little square. That's perfectly okay to do. And I'm gonna add my light bulb here. So the positive goes to the positive and negative goes to the negative. And you guys, I kind of panicked for a minute here when I saw when I was pushing the button that it wasn't connecting, but I was gingerly pushing down my light bulb and so that's why. And then I also went back in with copper tape and I just added some extra along the joints of the battery pack and the light bulb. And look at that, works so great. I was so excited. So now I'm just kind of laying my things down because like I said, this is my first time doing it. And so I played around so much with this because I was so excited about how easy and how cool it is. So what you need to do is add some foam tape. Oh, I'm just kind of erasing this. Um, it was giving me a weird shadow having that closed like that. So I'm adding two layers of foam tape around my battery pack and my whole little setup here. You want to make sure that you don't add the foam tape so that it's interfering with the copper tape. So I added it close to but not touching anything that's building up my circuit. And then this card stock, the pattern paper, is rather thin. So I did add just a layer of 65 pound card stock to the back just to kind of give it some stability. And then I'm going to position that over my whole uh, circuit there. And I've made sure, I've glued down my little astronaut already, and I've made sure that when you push on his little belly that it will hit the button. And then I'm going to take some liquid adhesive and just glue down my balloons over the top. And I'm going to make sure that I add my adhesive so that it's not going to interfere with that uh, cutout circle there. So I do encourage you to head over to my blog. Like I said, this video is part of a blog hop. So you're going to be able to get links to the Pear Blossom Press Power Pack Kit as well as pricing. There are a few different options. If you don't want to get the whole kit, you can get just the battery packs um, in a single pack or in a three pack. Lots of different options for you. Congratulations to my friend Amanda and her husband on this new venture that they are taking on. Um, I wish them both the best and I am so honored that they asked me to design a card for them. So now you're going to see me in just a second here. I'm going to turn off my lights because my lights are quite bright and you can't really see that it's working. So just ignore the fact that it's going to get very dark for a minute. But when I push this light, you're gonna see it light up in the background. Look how cool that is. I'm so excited about it. And my three-year-old son has already been playing with it all day. He thinks it's the coolest thing in the whole world. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope I'll catch you next time. And like I said, please do head over to my blog so that you can get all kinds of information on this new product. Thank you. Bye.